Why, that's opal. I recognize it because it's all glittery and everything. And everything I own is cool. What do you think? I can't believe some of you all wouldn't have seen all my opal videos. God. I mean, basically, it's just a wanker. Can I say that? No, catch a disease. Safety first with Sheila. Every night, Opal News, Opal News. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. Now, what exactly is this? These look like, what do they call it? Uh, Marjon. Marjon tiles. We have a surface here. Wait a minute. I think I saw something. Why, that's Opal. I recognize it because it's all glittery and everything. So I guess we'll call this white blocks with a little bit of opal. In actuality, this is Andamooka Matrix Opal. It can display beautiful colors, but now I'm not seeing any color. I mean, at all. Let's wet it. I'll wet it. And wait a minute. There appears to be color in there. Who would have figured that one out? Often with Matrix Opal, it's right next to some real opal. And this is real opal. But as it dries out, color disappears. Two Marjon tiles made of opal. Perfect for the serious player. In most cases, it has almost no value. If it's not treated, it doesn't look like a gem. So that's where we come in. We're going to treat this stuff and see what happens. Even though it looks good, there is no way to predict if this will treat, that is, if the background will turn black or not. I can't believe some of you all wouldn't have seen all my Opal videos. God. But up here, it looks good. But sometimes, a seemingly identical stone only treats in certain areas. It's much easier to see when the background turns black. Not that this is not a cool stone. Everything I own is cool. What do you think? I think I'd have something less than cool. Now let's bring in something you haven't seen. There's a video of this untreated, but this is the whole thing completely treated. You can see that parts of this turn black. They treated well. But areas right next door didn't treat very well. That's a pretty good fit. I'll take it. We're going to make big matrix cabochons, big jewelry, big stuff. So let's get to work. Let's just trace this out. How's that look? Good. People are asking me a lot about Black Opal Direct. A lot of things that, you know, I can't answer. But the way I feel is I regard him as a great professional opal cutter who's interesting, intelligent, and pretty darn good at what he does. On, on the other hand, I don't know what he thinks about me. I met him briefly in Tucson. I haven't spoken with him, but I'm sure, you know, he's realistic about it. He regards me probably as, you know, some lunatic yank who's obviously in over his head and, I mean, basically is just a wanker. Can I say that? Are you sure? Borders drawn. We will proceed to the saw. Buzz through this. I've got a subscriber named Buzz, by the way. Cool name. I wish I was Buzz. Buzz Pulitzer. It's got a certain buzz to it, doesn't it? Okay, two blocks of matrix. I said drop it and break it. So let's get to work here. Now I'm going to take these edges off and I'm going to go down to the line. So these are our prospective cabochons. For large stones, we use large sticks. I've always cut large matrix cabochons with a dop stick. Big dop stick for big cabochons. Remember that. Big dob stick, big cabochon. Big dob stick, bigger cabochon. Huge cabochon, huge dob stick. So these are my two dob sticks. I can't help but uh, remember back when I was learning how to cut opal, I watched Justin's 
video how to cut opals, but <laughs> when he was describing top sticks, he said, don't get the hot wax on your hands because it will burn. He said a special way. I can't do it. I'm not Australian. It will burn. And it will burn. He's right. It will burn. Remember that. No, this isn't what it looks like. While doing this, I managed to get some stopping wax on my finger and it did burn. So here are my stop sticks. So. Hello, partner. I'm Flint. You're just Opal. Ha, ha. Get you all out of here. Smash up. Remember me? You bet you do. You remember my partner? My Australian partner? He's not the man he used to be. Good day, mate. Holes, I'm from a hole. I'm from a hole. Good day, mate. Well, partner, your Australian accent's pretty bad. So I've always found that cutting white matrix, it's very difficult to see the progress. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. This is sort of a medium dome, and this is a high dome. I've gotten them to 600 mesh, which is not polished. Now is the time to treat these and see what we have. So this is my beaker of sugar water. I've thinned it out. Oh, I've got the hand-carried camera now. Well, well, well. What do we have out here? Wait a minute. Staying safe out here, huh, Sheila? Yeah, yeah. I can't hear you. It's the mask, I think. Why don't you take it off? No, catch a disease. Safety first with Sheila all the time. Oh, she doesn't want, she's sensitive about her arms or lack thereof. So what we've come out here for is to go to the oven. There it is. I forgot to get my gloves. 180 is not too hot. But too hot for me. Okay, let's take a look. Oh, you can see. Ninja Flex gloves. Do we have to go over that again? But look at this. Ninja Flex shirt. It's the 4th of July. My wife was wearing something stupid, so I decided to, to dope out. This is hot. Hot stuff. I'll put this right here, and I'll send you back to our announcer. Okay, I'm your announcer. Now, today in the news. Today, it's Matrix Opal. It's the big story. Not coronavirus, not politics, not protests, but Opal. Something that should be. Should be on the news every night. Every night, Opal News, Opal News. So, so let's put them in. Go out there. Warning sign. Lots of things had to be moved to get to this. I'll close the lid. Lock it. These treated pretty well. A lot of red, a lot of blue. Like blue. I like blue. Let me explain something about red. Everything in the opal world is called red if it's at least orange. The distinction is rarely made. This is very close to true red. Now this right here would be called red, but it's actually orange, isn't it? Compare and contrast. So this is beautiful. This is an A plus in my book. Where's my book? Get that down, would you, Sheila? Okay, Sheila's got it. Ta-da! What a difference. 
and this is mostly blue and green, green dominant. It's a very, very common phenomenon to have a almost completely green stone with a little bit of blue. The blue is a little bit harder to see. There are fewer cones in your retina to detect blue, so it's not easy for humans to see. Now kangaroos can really see blue, but unfortunately we can't. And now the big reveal. That's a nice green and blue stone. The color is really bright in the back. There's a lot of blue on the back. It's very beautiful. Great success. The last and largest cabochon. There it is. Red and blue. The treatment went fairly well. And the, the material is beautiful. Red and blue. A little yellow and orange. get to reveal my lovely hands. But these look washed out to me, it's sort of grayish. And I assume that I'm getting through the treatment. You can't see this through the camera. It's really interesting. It's easy to see in person. So everybody needs to come over here and we'll all look at Matrix Opal Cabochons. Yeah, I've polished these with cerium oxide. They still look washed out to me. You can see that, I mean, it doesn't look black. It looks grayish. And so the next step is these are really beautiful stones and I'm really happy with the results. As I mentioned previously, this opal was supplied by 53 Frogs, Riley Gunn of NN Opals. Just Google 53 Frogs, no space in there, and you'll find him. As usual, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.